Hello and welcome back to Subnautica! Oh, we have a message. Incoming, incoming. Let's have a listen. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Boom. And now there is a timer in the right hand corner of when they'll get there to the coordinates. So we got to do our prep. We need food and water and plenty of batteries. I would like to not go on a sea glide. I'd like to go on a sea moth. So let's hurry up and build uh, a vehicle bay. And we will gather all the supplies. Let's see. Wait, I'm wondering if we're going to need a radiation suit. I just feel so exposed. This is okay, but you know quick getting in and out close to the base, but long-term travel. Ah. Look, dude, I need some creep vine. Make some fiber so I can make a decent set of radiation gear. I think that's all I need is the fiber. So let's swim around. We also need to get some seeds or those glowy thingies that make oil. We can find them. They're usually at the end of these thingies. The creep vines. They're not hard to spot once you see them. They glow. Up oh, there's some right there. We gather a couple of those or how many and load up so we can make oil so we'll have a suit and we'll also have hopefully we'll get the sea moth done I just don't know where the radiation is in relation to the landing site All right, let's get back to the boat as, pod as quickly as possible we've got 32 minutes I'm not really paying attention to the clock because that's kind of like real time it's like 30 minutes. I hope, I hope I'll be able to get everything accomplished. You know, I want to be at the landing site to be picked up. Get out of here. Alright, let's make some more stuff. Let's see if we make the oil. And, oh, we have enough for the vehicle bay. So, we're going to make that now. Oh, that took a while. All right, now we're going to go put it out. And you kind of have to be a little careful where you put it because if you're going to be making the vehicles, you have to have a place for them to drop into the ocean. So it can't be like in shallow water or you'll be in trouble. So I want to find some place that's nice and deep, but close. And preferably, maybe close to we might put a or might have a base or something you know I don't know if I'm even gonna need it because if they pick me up I won't need it but we'll plan ahead As you can see that arrow up ahead that's the landing point where they're gonna pick me up I got 30 minutes to get my my stuff together this is I like this place it's my I love those tubes. I think they look so cool. Alright. Oh, this is a good deep place. Right here. So, I think we'll go to the surface and we will release the vehicle bay. Figure this out. First up. Okay, and let's see. No, not put it away. Take it out and throw. Ta-da! 
That's not too far away. And below it's a nice place to for for a vehicle to land. Let me see what I can make. Oh no, I don't have all the ingredients for a sea moth. Well, crap. I don't think I'll have enough time to find the parts. Um, huh? yeah. So, we may just have to settle for the suit and the glider. Looks like we have another incoming message, too. Look at this place, it's really pretty. Okay. Salvage. Yeah, I love this place. So, I like the way the, the fish and everything. I don't want to... Oh, crap. There's another creeper. Stalker. Whatever you call those things. Ooh, caught a boomerang fish. Alright. Um, yeah, we're going to have to process all this stuff. And I'll have to explain about this the tanks. The tanks work. They don't stack anymore like in the oxygen but what you can do is if you run out of one tank you can exchange it for a different one that's full and get the air out of it so yeah that stinks they just took the time off the o2 but maybe that'll change i don't know but something to deal with We gotta get back to the ship. I mean, our pod. Get back to the pod, and I'm gonna make. Um, I guess I have enough stuff for the suit. I just. There's not enough time to do what we need to do. I'd like to go on the sea moth, but that looks like it's just not gonna happen. Um, I hear some underwater volcanic activity. We're going to have to go and find the volcano. And there's the incoming, so let's go see what this one says. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Well, I, I, I don't know what to think. <laughs> I honestly don't because it's like, okay, you've got the Sunbeam landing site and then you've got a distress calls that we have and it's like well every pod I've, I've looked at there are no survivors and if there were survivors I, I would assume they would get the same message I did about the sun being coming and it sounds like if it's on land that They've given the rendezvous point as well. Huh, this doesn't give anything anymore. It used to. It used to. And I think they... Yeah. Oh, great. Indigenous life form. Why won't he leave me alone? He's chasing fish. Okay. So now, instead of... Needs more water. So you catch a bunch of these little guys. Run you off. Go. Go. Don't come back. And he's coming back. <laughs> You can kill it or not. Alright, we 
we'll get plenty of water, food, in case we get stuck, you know. And we're going to be really far away from our home pod. Fishies. Alright, the sun's going down, so we gotta go ahead and do some prep stuff. And we've been through our storage and all kinds of stuff, so let's get cracking. We've got 21 minutes left. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to make food and water and make sure we have all our supplies and everything squared away so we can go. All right, we've made our suit. We have a radiation suit now. And we have tons of water and first aid kits and cooked fish and just regular fish. We've got two scuba tanks, our glider. we got batteries. So, we got eight minutes to go, and I think it's time to leave. So, let's go. Get out our glider. Uh, that's not <laughs> Now, I'm going to stay. Oh, there's that aggravator. I'm going to stay as close to the surface as I can. I don't want to go anywhere near whatever's out there. My power's at 19%, so definitely we'll be changing the battery at some point. We just keep going. We're 900, 800, you can see the meters away from it, so we just keep going. Keep going, keep going. And I'm going to use this battery up to the last second. Watch your O2. Six hundred. Haven't run into anything. Thank God. And there's something. I saw a shadow behind the behind the clouds. I could see like peaks. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. It's some dry land. All right. 400 meters. We have six minutes left. Looks like we're gonna make it. Oh, here's the island. Let's find a beach. Kinda dead quiet around here. Massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Massive energy. Oh my god. There's a building. And some creepy crawly on the beach. Let's try to avoid that. I'll get my knife out just in case. So I have no weapons. That's a freaking building. Okay, where's the coordinate pickup point? I guess it's right here. Yeah, because that arrow kind of disappears. So, I'm going to get to higher ground so I can see what's going on. There's definitely an installation and a building here. It looks abandoned or quiet. I don't know. Five minutes left. Well, I kind of don't know what to do. Oh, that is the iPod, iPod, live pad, whatever. <laughs> From Keen. I hope he's here. I don't see anybody else. It's just me. On this island, staying up here so nothing will eat me. In case there's some critter on land that I don't know about. I've already seen one. Looks like a crab. I'm looking to see if there's anything. Four minutes. <sighs> I 
it's getting darker I think we're gonna have an eclipse oh definitely having an eclipse look oh, the buildings glowing full eclipse Ooh, that's totally creepy but we've seen them before but kind of here that building is kind of weird but I don't see the sunbeam so there's definitely like lights or glowy things over there so it's not empty or whatever there's some power there and it said there was an energy surge or something like that so many landing sites 17 meters I hope I'm in the right spot down here oh what's that samples to take back I suppose I should scan some stuff while I'm just sitting here waiting I've got two minutes three minutes Looks like it's the sun's going down. It's getting dark. But I don't want to go anywhere or do anything. I just want to stand right here so I don't miss a thing. Let's see if I can scan some stuff that's just close. picking up on anything what about down here I'm cautious because there was stuff kind of walking on the beach and I don't want it to see me and attack me or be fighting when the, the sunbeam comes I don't see anything yet 157 150 oh run down here Got a little more time scan the data upload it so I can take the information ditching this life okay we're getting down to it we got about 90 seconds almost 90 seconds to go and it's getting dark hope they can see me There's the moon and that big old planety thing, but I just don't I don't see sunbeam. It should be coming into view by now. Sixty seconds coming up, and here we go. There's nothing happening. Fifty seconds. This is nerve wracking. 40, 43, 42. I don't see a thing. Oh God. What's going on? The building. What's it doing? Where's the roar? Where's the sunbeam? Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a oh, building God. down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Oh no! Hold it on. looks like a Don't weapon. Positions, everyone. Touching down in ten. There it is. Nine, there it is. I'm eight. here. It's coming from the building. Change course. Oh, God, Set God, thrusters God. to full.
Why would they do that? That's what happened to us. We were shot out of the sky as soon as we got over this planet. Whatever. Whatever's. Oh. oh, what a way to end. That's terrible. That's just terrible. It was deliberate. That's what happened to us. And now I'm stuck. the dark and just meters away this building that just destroyed or whoever's working the controls just destroyed my escape oh, those poor guys okay 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 well I think I'm going to wait till it gets light and I'm going to get back to the pod. I'm just going to have to do something else. There's no other survivors that came here with me. I'm just going to have to check it out and see what happened. That's so lonely. Very lonely. But we're going to find these guys and uh... yeah get on with it and cry later yeah scientist the only way to survive is to as much knowledge as I can. That's the only way you can survive. Knowledge. Alright, the sun has come up. And, uh, yeah. Getting out of here. I don't know what that was, but I'm not hanging around to find out. Looks like this tree gives you water and food. See? Knowledge is the key to survival. And I'm going to find out what's in that building and what killed my friends. And what they got against me. I'll be back. That's for sure. I'll be back. All right, let's get out of here. strange noises. It's like that building woke something up. I can hear it. This planet has a lot of mysteries and I intend to find out why. Why this happened. Oh. 
I will not let this defeat me. They haven't got the best of me yet. Oh gosh, there's debris. Let's see what all this is about. There's no time to feel sorry for myself. What is this thing? That's a sea glide. Grav trap fragment? Excellent. Need a blueprint acquired. That'll help me catch fish. Ooh, a trash can. Okay. It's on. It is on. the volcanic activity again. See, it's still left of me. I don't want to go too close. I don't have any protection. Oh, he don't like me playing with his metal. Let's see if you like this metal. Beacon. Yes. I see some more eggs. Creature egg. I don't want to pick any of this creature stuff up yet. I'm not ready for it. What is that? Oh, I know what that is. I think I want to go have a look. It looks like a whale. Weird. Creepy. It is. This. There's a reef back. Back Leviathan. This is one of the Leviathan life forms that we were told about on this planet. They're huge. I hear some clacking. Ecosystem that lives on their backs. This is cool. Acid mushrooms, table coral, violet, violet bow. Oh, the spade fish. Fast. 
fast. Catch him. Spikefish. Cool. All right then. Two of these things. Like floating mollusk or something. bit disorienting in the ocean sometimes because up oh, there went the battery that lasts a pretty good time okay let's exchange it for a fresh one ding ding all right this is over a thousand feet down I'm not sure I can make that I think this is the one that said it was near a cave system. More metal. Yeah, we got our work cut out for us. We got to make a more permanent structure because we're gathering so much. We got to have a place to put it, organize it. Some more wreckage. Maybe a sea moth information around here somewhere. I don't know. I hope so. Bladder fish. Hard to see. Are you? Oh, counter. Excellent. This. Grab trap fragment. We have that already. So these are blueprints that will show up. It was a big um, wreckage that we found also earlier. I'm going to go ahead and pick up these fragments because Every time I see one, I stop. And if it's something I've already got or seen before, I might as well scrap Oxygen. it. All right. Goodness, stabilize. the aurora peepers boomerangs <laughs> uh -oh. ah crap I got blasted that was a little blasty fish I don't know. What do you do when you're disappointed? <laughs> I go chase fish. There's where that blowy up thing was. Maybe it left me something fun. A cave suffer. Thank you very much. But I'm full. So I've got to... Let's see. Get eat and drink. That'll free up some space. And there's another egg. Creature egg. But my inventory is full. There's crystals, all kinds of cool stuff. All right, well, that wasn't the best outcome, but we're gonna make the most of it. Why does everything feel like it's moved? It's crazy. It's so easy to get disoriented, I have to remember. use the beacons will kind of let me know which way to go well I think that's going to be the end of this episode we're just going to get started with our knowledge we're going to try to get off this planet and I want to thank you all for watching I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have and we'll talk to you later bye